always on their way to state, but never quite bringing home the gold. The Menominee Falls girls volleyball team is finally able to call themselves champions. We had a different mentality as well of uh, we're not just going to play three matches to get to state, we're going to play six matches to win the whole thing, you know, and so we weren't just going to be, uh, be happy to be there, um, you know, with a lot of these players being their last opportunity. Um, we were going to play every match like it was our last, um, and, you know, it was an effective way of going about it and made things uh, a lot easier than maybe we had expected it to be. Not only was this win the girls volleyball program's first state title, but the first in many years as a school. That's an amazing honor. I mean, we've worked so hard for it, and I'm really happy that we were the first team to do it. I mean, uh, just all the hard work has definitely paid off, and I think it's going to show more respect towards the game of volleyball in general, like having more fans come out for the games and have more fans at the tournaments, because like they're, they realize that, hey, volleyball is a really cool sport. Simone Lee also celebrated her official college signing day as she agrees to continue her volleyball career as a Nittany Lion at Penn State. All right, ladies, congratulations on being the Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. Menominee Falls wasn't the only successful local team up at state this year. In Division II, East Troy also brought home the gold. That was our goal from day one. Our goal was to um, prepare ourselves to actually be in the position to win. We knew that we had a lot of talent, and if we could just put it all together and be playing well at the right time, we had a really good chance. The Trojans were able to bring home the gold ball, but that's not their only accomplishment this year. This team also went an incredible undefeated 44-0, ranking them fourth in the nation. It didn't really occur to me until we started winning everything that it was like, you know, we can actually go undefeated, and it was pretty cool to see that happen. To do that is just incredible, unbelievable, actually. Like, it's crazy to think about. I really hope that they understand the journey um, what it took to get to this point. I hope they take that into their lives after volleyball is done. After seven years together, congratulations East Troy on a well-deserved, very successful season. And to both of our local teams on their state wins.